One of my favorite things to do when the weather starts to cool down is to have a movie night and turn my living room into a fort like I'm 10 again. By the way, when I was younger, this is something that I used to do to totally cheat whenever it was not cold enough. I used to turn the AC down really cold and get in really warm, cozy clothes and then really, really thick, heavy, soft blankets. And this would make me feel like we were somewhere cold even though it was like 80 degrees outside still. So you could totally do that if you don't get fall where you are so you can still get in the spirit of things. We're gonna kick things off with a delicious apple pie drink, and this is going to make it feel like you're actually drinking your apple pie. It is so good, and I wanted to make it super simple so that anybody could recreate it, and it is definitely a treat. All I did was mix equal parts of apple juice and apple cider. I also added two sticks of cinnamon to it, and I put it on high, and then once it starts to get really hot, I turn it down to low, and just let it simmer all night so you could just keep drinking it for as long as your movie lasts. And on top of that, it smells amazing you guys like my house smelled like fall like we we're picking apples while we have that going we're gonna change into something super comfortable and get ready for the rest of the evening I think chili is one of those meals that definitely says fall and winter time so today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this chili recipe that was inspired by my mom she makes the best chili recipe and I wanted to do my own take on it using one cup of red beans and one cup of black beans and I add um, garlic and also salt and just let it cook. It took about five hours for these beans to cook so definitely either, either prepare them the day before or just use canned beans. You can take all the ingredients that I'm going to show you right now and just put them all in a slow cooker and cook it overnight on low and you're going to have really delicious chili. I like to make it on the stove because I, I feel like it's a little more flavorful that way and you can control the spices a little better. So I start by sauteing two medium onions. I add salt and pepper and once they start to turn a little bit translucent, I will go ahead and scoop them to the side and I'll use the same pan to cook my ground beef. I seasoned the ground beef with salt and pepper and I also used chicken bouillon which it's a little trick that I'd learned from my mom to make your meat more flavorful. Once the meat is starting to get nice and brown, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. You'll see that there's a little bit of grease left over. You wanna get rid of all that grease and then put it back on the pan. Next, I'm adding some red wine. I used a Pinot Noir, but I think a cab would be really nice with this. Then I'm adding my homemade chili seasoning, which I will also leave the recipe to that chili seasoning down below. And then I'm adding tomato sauce. I'm also adding crushed tomatoes. And then I turn my stove on high and bring it up to a boil so that that wine has time to reduce. So you let it boil for about 8 to 10 minutes and once it's done boiling you want to turn the heat down and if you see that it's a little bit dry you can add some chicken stock to thin it out or you could also add just regular water but you don't want it to dry up ever because that's how you get burnt chili. Now this is when I'm going to add my cooked beans. I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for about 1 to 2 hours. The longer you let it simmer the more flavorful it's going to be. It's going to allow all those spices to come out. And that is it. Once your chili is done, you can serve it. I like to add cheddar cheese on top and also red onions. I think it gives it a nice spicy crunch. You can serve that on top of white rice. You could eat it by itself. I like it with saltine crackers because I like to dip my crackers in there. And I also love adding Tabasco to it. It is so good. By the time your chili is ready, your entire house should smell like apple pie from the drink that we were creating earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys how I assemble that drink now. And the first thing I'm getting is some graham crackers. I'm crushing them and then I'm getting condensed milk and I'm putting that on the rim of my glass. Then I'm taking my apple cider mixture and I'm putting that in my glass. And then we're topping it with caramel apple gelato ice cream. And then I'm garnishing my glass with a slice of apple and a little stick of cinnamon.
I'm not even sure what to call this concoction, but it is so good. I think it would also be a really good idea if you're having guests over, just making a big thing of it on a slow cooker and leaving it on all night and then just serving the ice cream as you serve it to your guest. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying the I Heart Fall series. I will leave all the other episodes listed down below. If you guys missed any of them, check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.